Okay. Hey, Coach. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. All right. Do we have any questions in the room first? Yeah, uh, Fred, I'm going to ask you about the big shot of Christian Collar here that put you up by eight and five minutes ago. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, it would double up NECA quite a bit. And uh, when Liz had gotten the ball some, she kind of got loose. I told Tolliver and Huddle, if she got loose, go ahead and, you know, take your looks or make a decision with the basketball. But, you know, she's she's a veteran, knows how to hit those threes. And uh, she's a clutch player. I was going to say, she seemed to be yeah, we just you know went to our two person game with, with with her and Neca towards the end about the four, last four or five minutes to get the touches with the ball, a lot of uh, you know pick and roll action with those two, and then um, you know we got the cleanup on the backside of somebody helped and skipped it out for a three. Katie Lou hit a three out there, and I think uh, uh, Lexi hit one, uh, Brown hit one too. But those two combinations of uh, our two veterans have a great IQ of things, and I just wanted to go with them down the stretch. One last question. Uh, mm -hmm. What does she mean to you as being Christian? A lot. She means a great deal. I mean, you know, it's just the floor balance of everything on the floor uh, and just, you know, keeping the tempo. I thought the tempo was just right for us. And uh, she really set the tone early. Thank you. Dorothy, go ahead. So, how does it feel to get um, the 500 you know, win as the interim head coach? How does it feel? Uh, it, it feels great. I mean, you know, it's a total team effort, you know, with the staff and the team. and. And me, like I said, I'm just trying to, you know, help this team each day to get better and be competitive. And uh, but to get this, you know, for our franchise and it puts in it puts us in the record books. And um, you know, it's just a good feeling right now. Go ahead to the Zoom, Eli. Thank you. We'll start with Jackie Ray. Hey, Coach. Uh, it seems like the team is a lot more vocal. They're communicating a little bit better on the floor. Is that something that you've implemented since you've taken over? Yeah, I mean, I really implemented a lot of things for us defensively. I pretty much said, if you're, you know, if you're not talking, you're not playing defense. You know, I've heard that from somewhere in the NBA with some guy <laughs> and then Doc Rivers back in the day. But uh, I use that, to, you know, in, in practice. And, and I just want them to communicate more. If it's on offense or defense, uh, just enjoy playing basketball and, and, and figure it out. They got to own what I'm giving them. I can only give them the structure and, they, and they're doing a good job owning it. And then Liz as well, she seems to be, finding her groove is she close to being 100 percent? you think as far as her conditioning she's getting up the ladder i think uh you know seeing her minutes go up tonight uh, and her uh you know effort you know defensively are trying to get some stops but the offensive game is coming for her because she's you know staying with it and you got to be you know she's starting to be a little bit more physical physical going to the basket thanks coach thanks we'll go to rashawn haylock with spectrum sports and ktla hey coach congrats on the win um, you look pretty dry. I imagine they didn't get you with too many water bottles uh, tonight after this one. <laughs> yeah, I had to check the water bottles, make sure no nothing else was in there <laughs> other than water. <laughs> but uh, no, it was you know it was it was good to have some water on the sideline. It's very hot here in Texas, and uh, you know humidity gets you a little bit. But uh, you know my throat was dry, and I just you needed some bottles tonight. And I I wasn't gonna throw no bottles out there on the court, so I made sure they got to stay on the sideline. Um, Lexi being inserted uh, into the starting lineup, uh, what did you see from her tonight and, and just kind of reacclimating to that role? Well, you know, her, her, her defense, I thought she was really uh, showed a little presence there on defense and uh, having to guard, you know, a couple of players uh, on the other end for the wings and then her ability to be a three point threat from the outside. Uh, you can't collapse on her too much because she put it up and hit a three on you. And I thought she hit some uh, big shots for us down the stretch. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Rashawn. We'll go to Eric Lampkins with Culver City Observer. Coach, congratulations on a win. You had five starters today in double figures. What was the key to such a balanced attack? I think the key was, you know, our passing. I think tonight we had some like, uh, you know, 24 assists. Uh, and the last you know, few games, we've been in the 20s for his assists. And, you know, anytime you can do that, that means a lot of other players are getting touches with the basketball. And, um, you know, we're just starting to share the ball a little bit more. You know, this is a real unselfish team. They really like each other. And, um, and the more assists I can get from them, more touches all the way around, the better. Thanks. We'll go to Michael Matthew with TGN. 
Hey, what's up, Coach? Uh, you, you got some really good minutes off the bench from uh, from Jordan and uh, um, K Kennedy. Uh, what's your thoughts on, you know, the minutes they were able to provide? Yeah, those minutes uh, with them coming in was pretty much defensive pressure minutes, and, you know, for us putting pressure on the backcourt players. Um, you know, they did a great job of, of, you know, trying to penetrate, get to the basket, you know, finishing. And, uh, but, you know, we're having those two guards like that with tunnel drives. They cause a lot of problems for the defense, and I thought those two came in and gave us a lot of, a lot of energy. Thank you. Did anyone have a quick follow up? Oh, sorry, Sabrina Merchant of SB Nation. Hey, Coach. Uh, congrats on five hundred. Uh, <laughs> just, just to follow up on uh, Kennedy. Um, you know, her minutes have been just so inconsistent with your guard rotation just being what it is. Uh, how have you seen her stay just ready and focused to be able to deliver like she did today? Well, you know, she's been under the weather a little bit the last um, you know week and a half. So we've been really stabilizing her minutes and, and, and trying to have it kind of grow a little bit. But, uh, you know, those minutes will pick up as we go along and, and play games because we have a back to back coming up here against, you know, New York and, and, uh, and Phoenix. And so, you know, I don't want to rush her to get out there so soon, still being a little bit under the weather. And, um, you know, I thought she did a fairly good job, a really good job tonight with the minutes she got. Thanks. We have time for one or two follow-ups. Jackie, did you have one more? Yes. We I got did. one in the room here. Oh. Okay, Jackie, ahead, Jackie, and then we'll end with the, the room after that. Thank you. Um, Coach, we've I've heard you say that the team really likes each other and they and they enjoy being around each other. We've been focused on building chemistry, but what we saw tonight is I think something we've expected to see um, the whole season. Do you think that you guys have turned that corner as far as chemistry? Yeah, I mean, it, I think we're there. I mean, it, it, it's the, the chemistry on the court is 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 you know we, we all we want to win and, and battle, uh, but as far as them. And liking each other and all that they really love this team loves each other they pull free one another i thought the game tonight you know put us another notch up of, of building that chemistry all the way around and um you know we look forward to keep building that all the way to uh, towards the end of the uh, season thanks coach yeah, yeah. Ahead, I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna ask you about christy she worked this past season assistant coach with the Mavericks. Mm -hmm. just your thoughts on her not only doing that but you mm -hmm. see her doing Becoming a coach, you know, yeah, yeah. I think in the future, you know, whatever level it is, if it's on the you know NBA side, WNBA side, or you know whatever she wants to do, the sky's the limit for her. You know, being a coach, and I think uh, the, the more she's you know have done in the off season, you know, with the Mavs, kind of gave some implement of what she thinks and sees on the side. Um, you know, her and I share some thoughts on a few things, and um, you know, it's it's good to have a person like that around. You know, the, the organization who can, you know, put those things in ears to the players. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Great. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.